Ah, I just got stung on my head. I had the netting pulled too close to my forehead. That's not fun. Well, I've been picking at the nest for quite a while and have a good example of larva, pupa, and near adults. So we're gonna go cook these up. This actually smells really good. I'm not sure what the cooking time for bald-faced hornet larva is, but they're starting to look crispy, so I'm gonna pull them off now. Cheers. Well, it's not as crunchy as I was hoping. <laughs> was yours crunchy? In today's video, we're gonna fry up and eat some bald-faced hornet larva. I'm out here at my sister's farm and they recently discovered a pretty large bald-faced hornet nest about the size of a basketball. There's quite a few hornets in their yard and they're worried about their kids getting stung, so they asked if I could come out and remove it. Now a few weeks ago, I posted a video showing just how aggressive these bald-faced hornets are. I took apart a nest that was in my backyard and inside there was layer after layer of larva and pupa. I use those to go fishing. They make excellent fishing bait. We caught quite a few fish. But when I posted that video, quite a few YouTube viewers told me that in some parts of the world, hornet larvae are considered a delicacy. They even raise them in Japan. There's contests who can raise the largest hornet nest. And they have quite a few dishes where they cook and eat hornet larvae and pupa. So what I'm gonna do is show you the nest. Then I'm gonna put on the full bee suit here. Gloves, hood, everything, because I don't want to get stung. And I'm gonna place the nest inside this fish tank. So let me show you the nest, it's pretty low to the ground. I heard it's an old wives tale where if they're low to the ground, we'll have a mild winter. Usually I find them about 30 feet up in a tree, but all the nests I found this year are low to the ground. So let's go take care of it. Ah, I just got stung on my head. I had the netting pulled too close to my forehead. That's not fun. So the nest is pretty much on the ground right here. And it actually looks like an animal already took it apart. It was sitting back here, but they're still inside. So let's put it inside this fish tank. It's kind of crazy that an animal messed with it. I wonder what it was. I'm guessing probably a skunk or something like that. Oh, there's all the larva. Take a look at that. You won't believe how many hornets are swarming my face. This is a pretty big one there, and I see all the larvae on the different layers. So here's our nest with quite a few of the adults inside. I'm gonna try to get them out. I wanna take as few of those with me as possible. So we'll take off this paper. This has grass grown in it. It was really low to the ground. I can see why a skunk or animal already tore it apart, but I'm sure they stung it quite a few times and it left. Get all those adults out of there. Who knows, maybe you can fry those up too. So now that we have the nest back at my house, the first step in cooking these is we have to remove the larva and pupa. The larva have an open chamber right here. They come out, they almost look like a fly maggot. Just like that. We'll put those in a bowl. And then the pupa, it's covered here. We'll have to pick these off. They'll be in different stages of development. Here's a pretty early one. Still looks like a larva, but some of them will have legs and antenna. We'll just have to pull them out and see. So I'm guessing the best way for the larva is to shake it and they'll come out. There they go. They kind of hold on, but quite a few come out if you tap it. This is about as tricky as removing the seeds from a pomegranate. There's all kinds of foreign matter here, like part of the nest coming out. So I'm gonna put the larva in this bowl and separate it for frying. For this middle chamber, they're much more developed. There's fewer eggs and here are some freshly emerged ones. They're pretty much adults, but they're pretty soft bodied. The larva are on the outside and the pupa are in here. So I'm gonna really have to shake the outside to get these larva out.
This is kind of tedious work here. As I'm collecting the pupa, there's a pretty big difference in life stage. This one is more developed. You can see the legs and eyes, but some of them are pretty much just mushy. Here's a good example of a pupa that's body is starting to darken up and look more like an adult. Well, I've been picking at the nest for quite a while and have a good example of larva, pupa, and near adults. So we're gonna go cook these up. I'm gonna freeze the rest of them and use them for fishing bait, but I'm really curious how these bald faced hornets are gonna taste. So here's our ingredients. Along with the bald faced hornets, we have some grated garlic and ginger. We're gonna do a shallow fry in a cast iron pan. So let's heat up some oil and do some cooking. First, we'll add the garlic and ginger. And the bald faced hornets. This actually smells really good. I'm not sure what the cooking time for bald faced hornet larva is, but they're starting to look crispy, so I'm gonna pull them off now. Look at these fried bald faced hornet larva. <clears throat> My wife thinks they need some salt. Everything's better with salt. <laughs> so who wants to taste some bald faced hornet larva? Try this one. Crunchy, slightly salty. It's actually really good. I like them, they're like potato chips. I know, mm -hmm. that's what I was saying. Mm. Yeah. Ate a lot of them, ooh, that's a big one. Are you gonna eat the big one? Eat it. What do you think? Is it crunchy? Mm-hmm. It's yummy. Is it yummy, Ruby? You're amazing. They're a delicacy. Look at this giant one. I'm eating it. You want one? Here's a big one. Whoa. Did you take out the stingers? <laughs> These are actually really tasty. It's not yeah, a weird food at all. Uh-oh. Mm. You're eating that one? That's mm. like pretty much an adult, and my kids are eating them. I'm really surprised. But if it tastes good, what do you think of the big ones? They taste the same. They taste the same as the little ones? Mm-hmm. You gotta cook them with the garlic and ginger and salt. Oh man, that's a treat. That's not weird at all, huh? Yeah. Mm -mm. They kinda taste the same. Yeah, but, uh, but they're more crunchy. Three, two, one, cheers. Cheers. Well. It's not as crunchy as I was hoping. <laughs> was yours crunchy? Kind of. Try this. <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. So I'm actually really surprised how tasty these are. The kids are chowing them down and they are almost gone. It's a great food and uh, it was a fun experiment. I think I'd do this again. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button for the best videos on how to see different things on catching pests, including mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, wolves, and gophers. And sometimes bald faced hornet larvae. And ghosts. And ghosts. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>